Hello everyone, this is Pal Pondra Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about major hurricane Ada that will make landfall this morning as a powerful category 4 150 mile per hour hurricane off the coast of Nicaragua, bringing catastrophic impacts for that area and then re-emerging back into the Caribbean on Saturday as a tropical storm. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I also ask you to share this video with your friends and family that are gonna be impacted on the path of Ada. So let's kind of really delve into the details. Uh, this is the latest 4 a.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center. And last night, this storm was just jaw-dropping to watch. It was an incredible event. It had a rapid deepening. It now is a 150 mile per hour dangerous uh, category four, if not on the cusp of a category five hurricane. This is the strongest hurricane in the Atlantic Basin uh, this year. And there have only been two stronger ever in recorded history. Cuba back in 1932, there was a 170 mile per hour hurricane. And uh, Lenny back in uh, 19, 1999, it was 155. But just to kind of show you, this is a 924 millibar powerful hurricane that is right on the caliber of an Andrew in 92 that was 922 millibar a, a Michael that was a 919 so you can understand uh, what is about to unfold off the coast of Nicaragua and it's just hours of way of making landfall as a strong 150 mile per hour hurricane and as it comes ashore it's crawling at five miles an hour this is very unfortunate when it was out in the open waters it was 15 miles an hour then it slowed to 12 then it slowed to nine then it slowed to seven now it's down to only five miles an hour and that was the greatest concern from this storm you have a one-two punch you have a rapid deepening strengthening hurricane and also a slowing hurricane that it would be a combination of catastrophic impacts with with very heavy rain and landslides uh, for this region and it will propagate westward uh, throughout the day but even stand as a category th uh, three hurricane even 12 hours from now so you can kind of see this just sits and spins over this area uh, bringing torrential rains and high winds for for this region and then by 24 hours it'll finally get down to a, uh, a tropical storm as it propagates uh, westward into uh, Honduras it'll downgrade to a depression once it gets into uh, El Salvador and then eventually into uh, Guatemala City and then but by, by the time it hits Belize on Friday It'll be a depression, but then it reemerges back into uh, the Caribbean by this weekend as a tropical storm. So this is just incredible what is uh, unfolding here. But man, we've got major impacts on the way with this storm. We're talking a dangerous storm surge of water levels of 14 to 21 feet above normal. That is just incredible. You can imagine the swells that are going to be generating through this uh, storm. This is life-threatening surf in rip current conditions. The expected rainfalls also are incredible. Uh, this is from the latest National Hurricane Center. They're expecting 15 to 25 inches in Nicaragua and Honduras with isolated amounts of 35 inches. If you can imagine a storm only moving at five miles an hour. That's why you can get these extreme rain amounts. Uh, Eastern Guatemala and Belize, 10 to 20 inches. Isolated amounts, 25 inches. Portions of Panama and Costa Rica, 10 to 15 inches. Isolated amounts, 25 inches. Uh, even down to Jamaica and southeast of Mexico, 5 to 10 inches. Isolated about 15 inches on the southern shores. El Salvador, southern Haiti, and the Cayman Islands, 3 to 5 inches with isolated amounts of 10 inches. So you can imagine catastrophic, life-threatening, flash flooding across, uh, you know, river flooding across portions of Jamaica, southeastern Mexico, El Salvador, south southern Haiti, and uh, the Cayman Islands. So we're talking big impacts and look at the wind field this is just incredible storm i mean 
right off the shore. It doesn't officially make landfall until the center crosses, but you can see the impacts go well away from the center with just these feeder bands, depending on where they set up. Sometimes they might hit land, sometimes they won't, but it'll be off and on rain. And as this comes ashore, this will expand and the heavier rains will even extend out even further into uh, Jamaica, into the Cayman Islands and, and, and into Cuba. So these will be impacts you're still going to get over the next several days as this comes ashore and kind of just breaks apart as this elongates uh, back and extends the heavier rains uh, even, even well, well away uh, from the center. But now let's kind of zoom in on what we're looking at this morning. Here is the latest satellite picture. And I do think uh, Ada peaked overnight. And what's happening right now, we had a very, very clear eye. The eye is only down to six miles. That is in just incredible. Uh, but fortunately, it does look like what they call an eye wall replacement cycle is taking place. And that will hinder its impacts from becoming even stronger than what it is but you can see the the devastated impacts are already on shore right now as it's only crawling at five miles an hour so luckily this is not continuing to strengthen this has looked like it has peaked but it's still expected to come ashore later on this morning we're only talking probably six miles six hours away of making landfall somewhere in the neighborhood of uh you know nine uh, between nine and noon today, uh, and it's if you kind of zoom in, it looks like it's going to hit the city of uh, Porto Cabazas as a uh, back. Yes, last night it looked like it was going to hit as a, a, a category five, 160 mile per hour. Uh, but luckily, with that eye wall replacement cycle that is taking place currently, would uh, hinder its impacts to get to a category five, and it will come ashore as a strong. Uh, category four but the difference between 150 and 160 is really not that much if you count the combination of uh, of it moving so slow over the area and here's the latest uh, high res uh, the, the uh, hurricane model which was I, this is the one i've been showing you and this has been literally spot on for this entire uh, hurricane being on the the higher intensity of this hurricane and it, this had to keep you know continue to drop as it you know come became uh, you know, more succumbent and, and and deepened last night and literally it, it dropped like a hundred and gosh it was it increased 105 mile per hour winds in in, in in 24 hours it was just a just incredible incredible jaw dropping just event that's unfolding and then as this as this comes ashore it will it will break apart over land but it will take a while this is by uh, later on later on the night on tuesday this will still remain a uh, hurricane even 12 hours from now as as it's as it as it's coming ashore but finally uh, by uh, by wednesday it'll start to start to really break apart as a tropical storm uh, moving moving westward getting into uh portions on the southern shore of uh, el salvador and uh honduras with those with those heavier winds get, getting into uh guatemala C city and heading towards belize with with the heavier rains by then and by thursday and friday it will be in and around uh the belize area with those uh, heavier rainfalls but only a depression uh by then so you're not going to be impacted by winds of uh, any sort, but this reemerges back into the uh, Caribbean next week, and this is where the model guy and then just gets just a little crazy because the steering currents become very very light over this area, and it really doesn't move anywhere uh, anytime soon. But it looks to come over the Caribbean by uh, by this weekend, and you kind of kind of see the model spread just kind of all over the place and the reason why that is we have what's happened in the united states we have a, a very strong ridge that'll be taking place over the united states this is the latest uh, six to ten day but uh, and then we have a cold front and this is what's going to be keeping it down south in the caribbean for look like it could be for uh, days uh, as this blocks from the high pressure and then it's not really until 
probably around the 12th time frame. So this is the third. We're talking nine days from now uh, as this cold front kind of starts to move further to, towards the southeast. And you can see these extreme anomalies of 25 plus degrees above normal temperatures by then. This will finally look like it's possibly going to pull, be pulled up towards uh, Florida and be whisked away. But there's there's a lot of uncertainty in the models. You can kind of see the latest uh, ensemble members of the European brings it a little bit further north, but the GIS it pretty much all over the place. Some of them take it all the way down even to uh, Jamaica. Some of them take it over the Cayman Islands. Uh, but the, the, the main thing, this is really just not going to go anywhere uh, anytime soon. A lot of these are, you know, past uh, like around eight days, 10 days that it could be extended into Florida as it gets blocked up north. And here's the latest uh, GFS on Saturday. You can kind of see most of its members pretty much have it locked in over the Caribbean uh, by then. Again, unfortunately, as a tropical storm dumping some very heavy rain uh, over the Cayman Islands and portions of uh, Jamaica as they get the outflow uh, from this storm, it'll just kind of sit and spin this is on Monday. As you can kind of see it really doesn't go anywhere. Some of the members have it as far south as Jamaica. Some of them have it over the Cayman. Some of them have it over uh, to Cuba. Some of them have it extended into South Florida. But you can kind of see uh, it's just me meandering around this same general area blocked by this high pressure uh, to the north. And it's really not until about Wednesday where that cold front uh, gets closer at the spread lifts by then so i think your safe bet in florida until about the 11th and then you still really have to start looking out for uh development coming your way as that cold front will move through and by the 12th you can see a lot of its members have it in and around florida as a tropical storm or whatever it could be by then but of course that's a long ways away that is nine days so you can imagine if a storm is going to impact uh the nicaragua and honduras area head head towards belize uh sit over the Carib uh, uh, caribbean up for a couple days spread some very intense heavy rainfall over the cayman islands getting into uh jamaica getting into cuba just so this whole area will be under the gun for the next you know 10 days for very heavy rainfall as this ada just won't let up and i do think it keeps the storm name ada because it does not lose its circulation it becomes uh reforms as a uh, tropical storm again by saturday so i appreciate you guys uh watching uh do like this video and definitely leave your comments uh below i will keep updating on the latest on this uh, storm so don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch me in the next video where i protect you before and after the storm